Welcome back to Building in Fallout. In our last episode, we uh, ran as fast as we could to get into the glass cavern. Um, but sadly, the loading screen got us. So we're in here searching for the rest of the ghosts of the Brotherhood, as I like to call them. Now, I'm already over encumbered. But it is very easy to become even more over encumbered throughout this whole mine, so don't get discouraged. didn't have a thing. Interesting. Now, one of the cool benefits to wielding the um, plasma gatling or the laser gatling is that there's a small chance for a core to show up in an ammunitions crate. But it's a small chance. There is a heightened chance, though, that you're going to find unrefined gunpowder. So if you're actually, like, needing gunpowder as an ingredient to make more ammunition, you could go ahead and use one of those two heavy weapons to take a few things out. And while you're doing it, search for unrefined gunpowder in ammo crates. Now, keep an eye out for that dull glow. Because those are ultra sight. And like I had said in earlier videos, the excavator armor does not work to give you its quadruple bounty on ultra sight. Just because it's meant to be a rare material. As it is, and I will not sure if there was ultrasight in this small branch tunnel. Because here's where we were, and there's where we had scavenged from. I do believe this loops around too, but just keep your eyes peeled, search everywhere for. Ultra sight. Ribeye steaks are always tasty. And they increase your carry weight. Not going to be enough increase, that's for sure. Well, let's go ahead. Oh, come on. The game did not want to load. Sorry if my puppies in the background are being too loud. One second. Sorry about that, but I was eating. Might as well. Is that really the only soups I have? <laughs> but moving on. And like I had said before, it's not the end of the world to be over encumbered like some other Fallout titles. If you're um, moving along at a slow enough pace, it won't even drain your AP, or it can even help it to um, refresh. Not to mention, the pace they want you to go at is like perfect for stealth. So, it's kind of a little hidden bonus. But more Ultra Sight is here. And I apologize if I miss one. You know, feel free to tell me in the comments. 
you walk past such and such. Because I'm not perfect. I'm just a maniac with a controller. So I want to say that the way we're supposed to go is hi! It's one of these ways is a dead end, yep. Alright, so ultrasite. Aluminum. See, more gunpowder. Now, a downside is sometimes you will just find an empty case. It happens a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I just put in an almost burnt core. Because when it comes to the power armor auto-loading itself, it goes for the lowest core. So if you had something with a low charge from your Gatling laser and the other core runs out before you change it in your power armor, it's just going to put in another low core. I'm just carrying so many of them that I really don't care for preservation at the moment. Some more Ultrasight over here. And again, there are perks that you can take to make the uh, power armor sap less power. And... I'm probably going to end up taking a couple of levels of batteries included to lower the weight of the plasma and fusion cores. I really... I would love to have a harpoon gun right now. It is one of the best things for sniping. Who else? Where else? What else? <coughs> Excuse me. Now you'll notice that there are a bunch of high-end scorched enemies just lying around dead. For example, Mylurk Squ Queen Scorched. Um, you'll be seeing more and more of them. And you also have all of these Brotherhood bodies that you can scavenge from I don't know what someone else is about doth I know where? nay probably up in this Office. Sounds like you're over there, though. Are you stuck below? Because most of that's just water. Hmm. Maybe in another canyon. Or cavern. I knew what I meant to say. Um, and, of course, the holotapes can help to explain the situation in the mine here before the everything went... Cray cray. All the bombs and whatnot. Alright, so. Come on, puppy dogs. Would you cut it out? Pups will be pups. Alright, so. I think I'm going the right way. Yep. More ultrasite for scavenge. There was an accident. Not really. Spoiler on some of the story here. They had the bright idea of using nukes to try and mine the ultrasite out of this cavern. And the radiation ended up making Scorch Beasts and the Scorched. 
along with an uh, FEV virus and the uh, Garden of Eden creation kits malfunction in the Cranberry bog leading to the mire like it's it's intricate it all went crazy at once and yeah then the bombs fell too so hey pops come on can we stop being aggressive for a minute guessing that was a no have some dogs they said it'll be fun they said okay you, you, you don't know you guys you guys over with it So continue to scavenge all the good stuffs because this is a good place for um, junk not just for the ultra sight scrap I don't think I need that much glass but like for example he were dying of starvation that hot dog was just out of reach now um wake master clock is an upgraded version of a regular alarm clock so that's you're gonna get some aluminum and some nuclear waste and I can't wait to get to level 50 so we can get the legendary perk for lock picking and hacking and yes it's both of them it allows you to do any level of them to at least play the game and makes the level zero ones free they just open up automatically so if we took, if we turn to the right out of that gate, there's more ultrasite. And a bunch of glowing fungus. Which, feel free to grab the brain fungus and glowing fungus while you're playing. I, you might notice I just avoid it because they have a really low condition bar, if that makes any sense and they spoil incredibly badly and I have a really bad habit of uh, long distance adventuring and not going for a camp but here you see there are more scorched beasts that are like super scorched so the old brotherhood ran into quite the mess down here trying to clean clean everything up Alright, so, and there's a bunch of side stuff to explore and scavenge. And I know this is going to be a bit of a long video. I was kind of hoping to just skip through and chain it with the previous video, but the game had other ideas. Now, I'm not for certain. I know there's the explosive crate, but there might be some more ultrasite down here. Nope. Just the explosive crate, and you can see where we have been. Couple of Porta Johns. Where's that cement? We'll take it. Who don't need concrete? There's the ultrasound I was thinking of. Now in your next visit to here, if you're not doing this mission, a lot of this stuff is cleaned up, all these, you know, mire lurks and cave crickets and scorch beasts, oh my. Um some of the scorch beasts are actually on top of some of the ultrasite. Um nodes hold still um so you kinda have to dig around for them while they're here but when you come back in subsequent visits those areas will be clear of debris but you see how that was a zero of scale this would just open up regularly but you still get the experience for it that is the uh, shiny gem of this legendary perk is not only does taking the perk without leveling it up
just taking the perk. Makes it to where you can play all levels of the hacking and... Dogs. Uh, the hacking and the um, lockpicking minigames. But all the level zero stuff that you're just going to open up for free gives you that tiny bit of experience, again, for free. So if you feel like leveling leveling that legendary perk up, I mean, and if it's... Because it gets pricey with the perk coins and everything, but if you have the ability to do it and it's your deal, eventually you can just completely sidestep having to lockpick and hack things and still get the experience. So, 9 out of 10, totally recommend. Oh, there is a door over there. I think this is locked. I think that's why I forgot about it. Nope, it's not. That's the one that's locked. Now, again, don't get discouraged for being over-encumbered. It's not that bad. If you just take a breather every now and again, let your AP uh, recharge, you can move at the you know snail's pace we're moving at. But um, when... I haven't even turned on the transponder. Silly me. Watch it make me go backwards. Nope. Okay, cool. But, uh, when we finally get topside again, we'll come right out at a workbench so we can scrap the everything. You know, if you guys are going to stay passive, I'm just not going to waste the ammo. Especially since you were glowing, even though the glowing meat might be nice, it just makes you a tougher enemy. Hi. You know, you guys are kind of cute for oversized mutated crustaceans. I don't know. I'm one of those people that, you know, if it looks incredibly weird, it makes it awesome and interesting to me. Now, fortunately, you do have that, you know, yellow-green glow to help point out where there is an ultrasight node. But, just keep your eyes peeled. There's a lot of cracks and crevices for them. What are you even firing at? Probably my lurks again. So I see a Nuka Cherry. Yep, they're shooting at the. Go get them. Yeah, you go get them. So there's going to be some slight backtracking right now. If you just want to take the quick and easy path. Um, then you're just going to end up taking this top path. Danger, they saw me? Who saw me? What saw me? No, you're still friendly. But this top path is the faster path. But we are going to be turning around in a second. Well, give me the water. Because there is more ultrasight scrap down in the lower part. So we just took this to grab that one. And now we're going to backtrack through to grab the rest. And then we'll just take that top path again because, again, faster. I don't know what saw me. Beware the toxic water. You might want to have protection. 
But if you've been following my build, then you've got the uh, level 25 excavator armor. Now, if you really want to, you can make a level 35 version of the excavator armor when you hit 35. But I'm of the opinion that even the level 25 is still pretty good and you can push through uh, the last 10 levels to get to the 45. Because personally I don't like um, having to switch a camp just to get titanium or take over the gorge junkyard to get some. It's, it's a bit of a headache and a hassle. So I'd like to do it as minimalistically as possible. So, more Ultrasight all on this side. I don't think there's much on the inner wall. I think it's just that note over there. But one of the creepiest sights, if you ask me, is a bunch of the uh, bear miners. Because I say it's creepy because uh, just, just, I'm an overthinker. Um, so, I just imagine some poor miner got trapped down here. Didn't know how he's going to get out. Started going nuts before, you know, the scorched ac the scorched virus actually took him over. And he was just playing with teddy bears. Like, trying to have some fun before his inevitable doom. Yeah, I really don't know how I became a friend of the Mirelurks, but I'm kind of digging it. If only I could be friendly with a queen... That's terrifying. Actually, never mind. Um, so, uh, this little walkway. Ooh, pre-war money. Give me that cloth. But uh, now, since we've already done all that, can I just hop up here? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and continue on through the mine here. Now, I warned you about how, you know, you're going to see a whole bunch of uh, the Scorched just lying about that the Brotherhood had taken out. They didn't get everybody. So we are going to be taking on a Scorch Beast and some Scorch. It, uh, I Don't quote me on this, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it has a high chance of being a one-star legendary and not just a regular Scorch Beast, so you might be in for a bit of a fight. But it's in this cavern with all the other Scorched Corpse. So what we're going to try and do... is we're going to try and not tick the thing off just yet. But it's going to happen. Once you enter a certain portion of the room, he just automatically pops out the fissure site. So we're going to stick to the right side of the room and grab what ultra sight's here, because he's going to pop out where that smoke's coming. There we go. It's actually kind of pretty. Okay, no, he's just a... Not a legendary, but... A leader. Now, the one benefit being that because... We're in a cavern, it will not fly away.
Now with the setup we've got going on, if you just focus on the Scorch Beast, everything else shouldn't really affect you too badly. There should be 20 seconds uh, between you using Born Survivor and it going off again. Hey, he had a fusion core. Good stuff. All right, so now that we've gotten that dealt with, we're going to continue to take everything from the right side that we can right now. I think that's it for this side. Because here's what we're looking for. But there is a whole nother um, side of the room side of the room. Is that ultrasight up there? How does one Is this one of those you need the mutation or the jetpack things? No. I have never noticed this up here before. Is this even up here? Is that just... Nope. That is actually mineable. Oh, come on. Alright, so... There's some up the column, which I did not know. Um, there's some underneath this Scorch Beast, like I had said earlier. They are blocking some nodes and hiding them. Just look for the glow. Wow, he had stuff on him. You really are blocking, blocking it. There's no way you're going to let me in it, huh? Come on. No. Ha-ha! Victory is mine. All right, um... So now, we're going to check the left side of the room. Because I don't think there's any more on the column. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So we just got um, a U.S. requisition drop. And it has given us the relay tower ELB102 um sadly there are no relay towers in the bog or in the cranberry bog or the mire they're not they're not there so this is the best relay tower you can get um i've only used it a few times so i can't say for certain if you can get like level 50 equipment from it but i know i've gotten uh, level 35s, uh, level 40 stuff out of it, so I don't think it's too far out of the wheelhouse of possibility. But this Scorch Beast is blocking a whole line of Ultrasight Veins. I want to say that there's some more up here behind this crashed excavator. No, I was wrong. So, be sure not to fall in the Fisher site. This is actually... I I had assumed that it was instant death to fall into the any Fisher site. This is the one I confirmed that in with a couple of buddies of mine because I was freaking out that there was a Scorch Beast and... It surprised me the first time. I didn't know. But, any hoozle. Um, once you're done collecting, I do believe that's all the ultrasite in this uh, chamber of the cavern. But, for our eagle-eyed audience members who already noticed it, there is a red chest here in this old dilapidated... There's also a first aid kit, but I don't know how you're going to reach it. I know I'm too bulky in the armor, and I think I'm still too bulky out of the armor. Alright. Alright. 
inquiry. Yeah, that's still good. So if you were noticing the technique I spoke of before of, you know, tricking the burst fire into doing that rapid technique, it really will mess up your Gatling laser. Your Gatling laser is going to be like, I don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time. Hence why I only got one shot off before it was like, are you sure? And I had to spin it up again. So use with caution. Honestly, if you um, need rapid fire, you can always switch the barrel back, or you can switch to a, another weapon. Wooden blocks have lead in their paint. Honestly, a lot of the kid toy junk is some of the best in the game. I think that was planned. Now, I have not been searching for her video diaries, but there is a poor, poor woman who was documenting her slow descent into a scorched and the last tape is right here so if you wanna hear her struggle to draw breath and slowly turn into the tortured creatures that have nothing but rage and malice and murder on their mind you can go ahead and do that I am gonna get stuck on a rock real quick and then just pick it up because apparently there are four other parts to it that's just the last one and I do not know where to get them all I don't know if there is a mission but we have reached the end of the mine now this elevator is a one-way whenever it gets to the top it shorts out and there's no way for it to go back down unless you go all the way through the glass cavern again and honestly there's no reason to do that within 24 hours because I want to say it's 24 hours that this stuff resets like the mining nodes and all that could be sooner I'm not really too sure but I mean not all of us are hardcore gamers if you have a, a life and a day job and you're only getting a couple hours to play a night then yeah it's 24 hours we'll go with that and I did the dumb thing I completely forgot to get that last transponder because I was way too focused on uh, grabbing all the ultra sight whoopsie so what we're gonna do is we are going to scrap the everything we're not using now be super careful there are a bunch of scorched beast in the area but there's also a chance for a uh, um mire alert queen to spawn right in front of this shed I still can't believe I did that. But hey, nobody's perfect. So... With all of this... Yeah, with that alone. And I still got a few pieces to... Scrap. But yeah, digested goo is a really good source of adhesive if you're ever running low. Alright. Where are we? Where did it bring us out at? Oh, that's not far. Yeah, we just need to head to the east. Okay, so... Why is it... Wait... Is it making me redo the entire mission? I don't think that's right. It shouldn't be doing that. Okay, so now this, this begs interrogation. Because if they're just going to make me do the whole thing over again instead of picking up from where I was, that's not fair. But just for safety's sake, because I'm pretty sure, really, I'm pretty sure I do have to do it all over again, but you've already seen me accomplish it in a previous video. Come on. 
So, I'm probably just gonna end the video here, and then retrace my steps through Watoga and the Glass Cavern just to get all of the objectives out of the way. And then I'll pick it back up from the little shed we were at. But hopefully you found this uh, somewhat informative and entertaining. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.